What's up guys, we're back for the, the speed run. Day number 35 here, 1437. We gotta get going. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's Playing Beth Harmon, or Beth Harmu. Excuse me, slightly different name. Let's play F5, the classic Leningrad. We're getting up there, 1437, almost 1500. Is he gonna play H4? We're, about, we're gonna see some Dutch theory very, very soon. I need to start being a bit, a bit careful. I can't keep playing the Dutch recklessly. I can't keep playing like the reckless Dutchman. What was that Simpsons character? The Flying Dutchman. I never really watched The Simpsons. I just played Simpsons Monopoly and that was, uh, <laughs> that was one of the, um, the properties in Simpsons Monopoly, The Flying Dutchman. Playing E5, the classic. We got a, a healthy bird reversed here. He plays bishop d3, we can play f4, pawn takes, and then pawn takes d4. All right, bishop e6, dealing with any issues on this diagonal. Okay. Um, yeah, this is interesting. This pawn is a bit weak here. How am I going to defend it? Let's play knight d7. I would want to play knight d5, but then they're going to play knight c4. You gotta be very careful in these positions. The bishop could become a real monster here. If I just play e4 and don't do anything, then their bishop becomes very good. Gotta play this a little carefully. Let's play queen e7. I'll put the rook on d8, knight c5, eventually e4, knight d3. Yeah, black. I think black is in the driver's seat, but it's not that clear. Uh, long term, I need to play against this bishop. I need to do something like g5 and f4. He's doing that. He's doing that. Let's play knight c5. If he takes, I'll take with the queen. Keep everything, keep everything complicated. And my knight is thinking about drilling into this d3 square now. Pretty uncomfortable position for him. What is he going to do? How is he going to handle the pressure? Let's take. Is he going to play knight b3? Knight b3 is an interesting idea. Knight b3, I can play knight a4. Target b2. I could also play knight e4. All right, let me play... What are we going to do? Let's play rook d8. Yeah, this is a really tricky position. Black, black has to be slightly better here, but it's not that simple. If I'm drilling the knight into d3, like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I have to be a bit better. It's still not that simple, though. It's not that clean. I need to figure out a way to push e4 when the c pawn isn't hanging, for instance. We gotta get e4 and to cement the knight in on d3. It's all connected, you see. It's levels. <laughs> It's levels. 1437. What do you guys think? Are we gonna get, are we gonna hit 2500? This guy disconnected. We got a, a, the classic Leningrad abandon. This position doesn't look that bad for him though. Like, so I'm not, I'm not completely understanding why he would abandon the game like this. Maybe it, it, it could be a legitimate issue with his connection. We're not ones to rush to assumptions here at the GM Raven channel. We're ones, we're... All right. Yeah, we're here to, to wait for all the evidence and only then make a decision. Yeah, I'm gonna report him. Uh, cheating. <laughs> nice, perfect, 1445, let's get it going. Mr. Mr. Ruskin. Mr. Ruskin, okay, we're gonna play E6 and D5, the French. It's French time, baby. Welcome to Paris. We're playing the French. Yeah, I should probably stop playing the French as well because people at this level are playing the exchange all the time. Um, pretty boring stuff. <laughs> pretty boring stuff. The French exchange is notoriously known as one of the, the most boring systems in all of chess. Still plenty of opportunities to get a win though. We're gonna occupy the e-file with the rook. Literally, in, today and yesterday, I've gotten like six straight blacks, pretty much. I think I've only gotten two birds, currently. Let's play knight e4. Drill into the c3 square. Lots of pressure about to come about. Gonna take this way, knight comes to e5. Well, knight comes to e5, we play f6, we boot the knight around. He does not have a check to bother us. Yeah, no check to bother us. Knight e5, we play f6, he goes to c4, we play bishop e6. We keep on booting the knight around, like Boutros, Boutros, Gali. 
His name be none other than my man, Boutros, 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 Gali. All right, F6, the classic boot. Knight C4, Bishop E6. Bishop E6 is a good move. Knight D2, the idea is we want to play F5 and F4 as soon as possible. Got the classic far advanced king pawn. We want to assist it and uh, accompany it by a far advanced F pawn. Got to be careful about how we do it, though. Um, Queen d5 could also make sense, but no, bishop e6 looks much better. Much cleaner. f5. Um, now the simple idea is just queen f6, f4. If we can accomplish f5, f4, the game should be close to over. But the, the trick is, how do we do it? If I play queen d6 and f4, that's not going to work. He's going to be able to take on e4 and threaten the queen. I think I have to give up on immediately getting the, the pawn to f4, and instead I'm going to just aim to improve this knight. Knight is going to f6 or b6. f3, f3 is a good move. This guy knows one or two things. This guy knows one or two things about the royal game. A very impressive guy. Let's play knight f6. Bishop g5, okay, we'll play h6, push the knight, or sorry, push the bishop around. g5, it's time to go. He plays rook g3, we play f4, something is dropping there. He plays bishop g3, we also play f4. This, this pawn majority, you know, it looks a little risky. It looks like I'm pushing too many pawns in front of my king, but it shields my king, though. It's like a blanket covering my king. He, he can't get under the blanket. He can't attack past the blanket. No getting under the blanket, buddy. It's bedtime. I'm already tucked in. Yeah, this is just completely winning. I don't even know what I'm looking at the position for. Position is completely winning. Rook is very loose here. Rook is unbelievably loose. I think there's something in my eye. I got a Brazilian bug in my eye. It feels like it at least. Knight e4. Gonna attack the rook. He takes. Okay, we can take something else. Thank you very much. Okay, up a full rook. I'm expecting a resignation soon. We gotta keep it moving. This is the bird speed run. We get big, big gains every uh, every episode. All right. Uh, someone should let him know he's down a rook. End games are not good if you're down a rook, sir. Rookie two attacking the knight. Okay, rookie eight, rookie two. This is definitely the end of the game here. A hundred percent the end of the game. I could just start checking now. Rooks are very powerful here. Threatening this mate. All right. Nice, it's time to go. 1452. I want to get really close to 1500 before the end of this. We got to get to 1500. Okay, we got a... Uh, what are we on? We, yeah, we got the bird. Amazing. C6, D5, Bishop, G4. We play C4 here. We're going to try to hit them with Queen, B3. The classic. Can we play Queen, B3 here? This is a bit risky. Queen, B3 takes, takes, and Queen, H4. That stuff is always... Pretty wild. Recently, I beat a Brazilian IM in a, in one of the in one of the days to three thousand, but I don't think it was that good actually. I'm a little bit dubious about the efficacy of such a of such a venture. Bishop b4. Well, here now I do like sort of uh, sort of queen b3. We're getting two bishops now. He could take. We'll take. He'll check. We'll go here. This time we're getting two bishops. Two bishops is much better than one bishop. Throw the check in. Okay, no check. But bishop comes to a3, bishop slices through. He's in trouble now. It's time to meet the mayor. All right, let's take here. I got a really interesting idea. I want to play rook g1, but then he castles. Then I could play queen b4 and attack these two. But then he plays rook e8. Queen b4 immediately looks much better. How does he deal with this? This is the classic catch-22. He wants to castle, but his knight is hanging. Meanwhile, though, if he moves the knight, he can't castle. He goes a5. I'm going to play queen d4. I'm loading up. We're loading up. We're loading up the pressure. He castles. He wants to put his knight on f5. I'm going to stop him with bishop d3 first. 
I do need to be a little careful about this queen. This queen is practically trapped here at the moment. I only have like two squares or three squares to go to. Knight d7, let's play rook g. Oh! This knight is hanging. Okay, it's still hanging. I could have taken that a move before. He could have saved everything. He could have played knight g6. He's going there. That's what he's up to. But uh, here, we just take. We're going to win some more pawns. There's also an attack. This is completely over. Completely over. Queen h6 is going to be very dangerous against this h7 pawn. Way too much pressure here. G6, okay. We're, we're taking everything. I like f5, honestly. There's no need to take immediately. f5 is a better move. If I take immediately, he just plays rook g7. Well, now if he plays... um. If he plays something else, or if he plays rook g7 now, we can just play f6 first. Okay, let's just play f6. Now his rook can't block g7. If he takes, I just take with the pawn. Queen is still defending this. There's absolutely no threats there. Rook goes to f7. On the other hand, we can finally take. Rook cannot block. Um, of course, going back here, like if I had just taken here, that would have been a winning ending. I'm up several pawns. I think I'm up three pawns in that position. Uh, but even so, it's always nice to win in style. And uh, yeah, as uh, someone famous once said, you got to win with grace, you got to lose with dignity. And complementary to that is you got to win with style and lose with uh, fierce resistance. That's my motto. All right, rook h7. Um, here, what are we going to do? Just take this way. <laughs> okay, so it looks like no, he's not surviving. Sorry, I take here. That's mate. I didn't realize I had mate. I thought I was I was planning on castling queenside, and that would have still been completely winning. Um, but alas, we're fourteen sixty one. Fourteen sixty one. It's time to go. I think I have time for at least another two games. Let's play d six. Let's play the perk. It's perk time, baby. Okay, I'm just taking the pawn. He could take here. Sneaky guy. Sneaky guy, this Rehan 001. Is that from Pakistan? Sneaky guy. Um, this is a classic trick, though. He could have actually uh, taken on f7, and the idea is takes. He plays queen h5. He's going to hit me with queen d5, and he's going to get the piece back. So he wasn't necessarily losing a pawn here. Um, now in this position, he is losing a pawn, though. We'll play c5. We're going to play knight c6 next. Um, if... Yeah, if I take here immediately, he crashes through on d5. We're not going to do it just yet. We're playing knight c6. I want to play knight d4, get rid of the bishop, and then finally go there. Okay, that's interesting. What are we going to do now? I can play knight e5. He plays queen e3 and knight g4. That looks fantastic. Knight e5, what about queen f4? What is my idea there? Knight e5, queen f4, I play knight g6. I'm going to go for it. I think it's interesting. I don't know what's happening, honestly. Like, there's... If I wanted to get a simple advantage, I would just play e6 here and bishop c5. But knight e5 looks too wacky. It looks too wild. I couldn't resist it. Queen f4, knight g6, queen f3. A nice idea there is knight h4. And I'm probably going to win that pawn on g2. All right. Is he going to go back? <laughs> I think he's going to go back. At this point, he needs to see what's, what's waiting in Pandora's box. He has to open it. You can't resist it, buddy. You have to know what's what's hiding behind the curtain. What is the move that I'm planning? There we go. Knight h4. Look at that. I think the queen is almost trapped. Queen cannot go to any of these squares. If it goes to e3 or uh, f4, I have a 4. It has got to go to d3. <laughs> d3 is literally the only square on the board that keeps it uh, above water. What a wild position of queen d3. I'll take on g2. Oh, this is going to be insane. Okay, well, he just dropped the queen, but this is insane. Look at this. I can't, I can't help but show this. This is so cool. Look at this. Queen d3. My idea was here. Of course, he cannot go here because of this. So look at this. My idea was king f1 here. He takes, and here we have this amazing move here. This is incredible. We sack the queen because we're going to get mate after bishop h3. Of course, if he goes here... We have knight of three mate. Meanwhile, if he goes here, we check here and mate. That would have been such a beauty. 
That would have been such a glorious way to end this game. But alas, uh, he dropped the queen. We're 1469, it's time to go. Let's keep it going. Oh, Arsenal! Amazing, this is uh, our boy Claude's favorite team. It's time to go. We nil down to a pub side! We nil down! I hope Arsenal works. I hope Arsenal is winning the league. <laughs> Wake up and smell the coffee. Alright, we got the classic. We're playing the Queen's Indian style defense. Here we play e5. And this is quite a good position. Knight comes to d5 or e4. We could just take either way. Knight g4. That should not be good at all. Play d4. We're going to play h3 and g4 and wall the knight in soon enough. Position is fantastic for white at the moment. I'm starving, honestly. I'm very hungry. 53 minutes. I've been recording 53 minutes, everybody. <laughs> I'm getting tired. It's a little exhausting. And it's time to go. Let's play g4, lock the knight out. Knight is dead. This is one of the nicest ways that the bird can transpose into normal openings. They just, they think that f4 is a complete joke, so they play this, this b6, e6 hypermodern garbage against it. And before they know it, they're just dead lost. There's nothing to do. And someone keeps yelling at them that it's time to go. Man has to play c5. Man has to try to break open the center. But after c5, I'm going to play a3. Now is the perfect time for a3, actually. Just get him to cash out here. Takes, takes. My center is perfect. This is an unbelievably tough position already for him. Um, here can we play f5? He wants to take. I guess if he takes, I'm happy to take back with the f-pawn, and then this knight is just going to be hanging here. Let's just castle. Takes, takes. We're going to take on h6 with the bishop. Play queen d2. And then, uh... Yeah, and then break through on the knight. Alright, let's take here. King g7. Yeah, he's holding on. Give this guy some credit. He's holding on. Uh, we need to get the knight to h5. That's going to take a while. I'm going to play knight h4. How actually am I, gonna, am I going to do this? I need to get the knight to g3. To get the knight to g3, I need to get the knight to one of these squares, but it's actually almost impossible to get the knight to any of these. Yeah, this is, uh, this is getting to be a tricky position all of a sudden. I'll play knight h2. He's going to play queen d5. I need to be a little careful here. I can't just be playing this as if there's no, no risk to my position as well. All right, we'll play rook f6, drilling the rook in. If he plays queen d5, I can play knight f3 in time. Very wacky position at the moment. If I could just get my knight to h5, the game would be over. He needs to play queen d5 immediately, because if he doesn't, I can play knight f1. He plays queen d5. He's threatening these two things. All right. Give this guy some credit. He's playing a good game. We need to play c4. We got to boot this queen out. Got to tell him 1995 called. It's time to get Boutros Boutros Galid. Is Disneyland a member of the UN? No, because Disneyland is not a independent state. Pushing c4, pushing the queen out. Play rook f1. I need to, if I could just get this knight to g3, if I, this was just magic chess, and I could put the knight on g3, play knight h5, queen takes h6, and checkmate. Simple as, uh, simple as that. The way things stand, though, things are really getting wacky here. Really spicy position on our hands. Knight h4, that's not good. This guy is uh, trying to get a bit too frisky. Trying to get a bit too frisky in the castle. We're just going to take. He doesn't have mate. He has check. He, he might think that he's going to take a rook. That's not going to work, though. His queen is going to be completely disconnected. Like, I didn't even calculate anything. I just saw, you know, I have like five pieces pointed at his king here. There's no way that he could take this rook in this position. And indeed, he can't. I'm just going to take and then go for mate. He could try check. I'll go here. If he comes back, we can block with the bishop. If he goes here, we can block with the queen. And he is just down a piece. It's simple as that. Uh, I wanted to do this to try to go for checkmate, but then they take the, the knight and things get messy again. I'll happily take the extra piece. We got an extra piece to begin with. 
We're up a night. Yeah, game should be over soon. We trade and then I can just play Rook G1 and continue the attack. He's going there. Can I castle Queenside? Did my king move or not? I can't remember. Oh, what am I talking about? I've already castled. <laughs> I've castled and I've walked all the way around. I'm just, uh, I'm tripping up here. <laughs> um, I really like Rook takes H6. Yeah, that's a cool move. Let's go for that. Rook takes h6. If king takes, I, I go for mate. I'm threatening a bunch of different mates here. I'm also threatening rook takes h7. He checks. We'll play king d2. No more checks. He's doing that. We're going to check. That's going to be mate. All right, perfect. Do we have time for one more? We have time for one more. Let's go for it. 1478. We're getting up there. No! Okay, I'm aborting. I'm aborting. Luckily, I clicked abort before it was too late. F4. That was a really close one. I almost got stuck with the F3 position. F4. A normal bird. Let's play E4 here. That was really quick thinking to just hit the abort button. Well, there was still time. Play E5. This is just like before. I really love these structures. Here we just take... And we just try to steamroll them. We're going to play d4 and c4. Fantastic position on our hands. Yeah, I literally went over this. This is in my, uh, my Queen's Indian chapter. Um, yeah, there's a very cool variation that's actually in my course if they play bishop e4. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it after the game. Bishop b7 here, we play d5 and we steamroll him and... Like, as you would expect, the game is completely winning here. I think if d6, we could just play f5. From what I remember, f5 is the simplest. f5 is a really nice move. Look at that. Yeah, d6, f5. What a wild position. That's one of the coolest parts about the bird is that it's just, it, it works so well with my style of just going for domination, going to just take as much space as you possibly can. It's time to go. It takes, takes. He better not play d6 now. If he plays d6, he is getting punished. I'm going to throw in a check and play e6. All right. Uh, I guess dude did not hear what I had to say. He should have listened to my advice. This is going to get really painful. The bird, man. The bird. Such a good opening. I swear, when you master the bird, it becomes just so much easier to steamroll people. Like, there's no way I would be winning games this easily if I was playing king pawn or queen pawn because they would know what to do. Yeah, this is just a disaster. All right, nice. Um, so I guess we'll end on that game, but I did want to show you one variation. This variation is in my course. They play bishop e4, we do this, they go here. We do this, they go here. We play h4. They castle. We play h5, bishop f5. Yes, this is the line. This is a wild line. Get ready for it, guys. They take. They had to take because otherwise their bishop was getting trapped here. Their bishop needs the square. Now if we take this way, their bishop gets out alive. So instead we take here, they check, king here, and now they take, and then here, I guess this is a slightly different position, but anyway, here we play d6, and their bishop and queen are locked out. Their queen cannot move. Their queen is completely stuck. Wherever, if their queen tries to move anywhere, it can't move along this diagonal, so it's going to have to hang the bishop. Um, feel free to check out the short and sweet. Uh, it's like the free sample version of my course on Chessable if you want to see this variation in more detail. Um, I think I recreated it slightly incorrectly. It, it's with a pawn back on c2, but it's the same exact idea here. You end with this position and it's completely lost for black. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. This marks the end of uh, the bird speedrun. We're at 1486 on the cusp of breaking 1500. And um, yeah, take care everybody. I'll see you all later. Probably tomorrow I'll mix it up and throw in some, uh, some blitz chest. We'll do another data 3000. Um, but then a few days after that, we'll recommence the speedrun. So thank you all for watching. Take care, and I'll see everyone later.